Symphogear Gear is a show that I have really enjoyed watching. So with the fifth season of it about to come out, I thought now would be the perfect time to talk to you about the show. But how do I talk about it? Like, it's good. Very good, in fact. But how do I put it into words why it's good? I could describe the plot, but that would sell the show short. I could say that it's a lot of fun, which it is, but that's not really a good description. I could play a clip here, but the copyright holders do not understand fear use, so that's why there will not be many clips in this video. Plus, I'm lazy. So, the best way for you to understand Symphogear is for you to experience Symphogear. So, in the description, I'm going to put a link to the introduction scene for Season 3 with some spoilers removed. Because that is what got me into the franchise, and I think it would be good at just showing what is Symphogear. Alright, so whether you've gone to watch it or not, let's get into this. Symphogear is an action show about these girls who fight evil using the power of Symphogears. And Symphogears are activated by the character singing, giving them incredible powers. Technically, this is a magical girl anime, with the Symphogears letting the characters transform and all that. But I feel like calling it a magical girl anime is putting the wrong image in your mind. Though I guess you could say it's a magical girl anime for a new generation of anime fans. No, it's not super dark deconstructing and all that, but it does have a serious story, great action, but the ideas of hope and friendship that are all throughout magical girl shows. Actually, a better way to describe Symphogear Gear is it would be what would happen if Michael Bay watched an idol anime and then decided he wanted to make an anime his way having as much fun as possible. And then he ended up watching Gurren Lagann and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure between seasons 3 and 4. And really, the thing that made Symphogear Gear what it is, is just how fun it is. Fun is at the core of everything it does. And it's really good at having fun. Every episode has some sort of over-the-top and absurd action scene, and these action scenes are pure spectacle. They feature great animation, and every character has their share of ridiculous attacks, like how Chris frequently pulls out like 50 missiles and fires them at the enemies. Or Tsubasa with all of her swords. Or Hibiki just punching and drilling everything. And what makes the battles even better is the music. You remember how I said that the characters have to sing to activate their powers? Well, they sing during battle too, and these songs are really good. You know how some anime will have like a insert song play during a big moment to really hype up the scene? That is every single battle in Sympho Gear. And it's not like they just reuse the same two songs over and over. Every character gets their own song, and that changes every season. Plus, there are a number of unique songs for the characters having duets or multiple people fighting and singing at once. And the songs, on top of just being cool and adding to the mood, add a lot of meaning to the fights with the lyrics getting into the characters, what they are fighting for, and the struggles that they are overcoming. And I also like how each character has a different style of music, like Tsubasa with more traditional Japanese, or Kiraka having symphonic rock, which adds to the variety of the music. And another thing I like about the show is how well it knows what it is trying to do. There are things that happen that make no sense. Until you remember, this is Symphogear. Gear. Like how they have a training montage that seemed to be straight out of Rocky. Or how they are fighting the Illuminati in Season 4. Or anything with a doctor. That doctor is just pure Symphogear. Gear. Other shows, you, you would be complaining that these things make no sense. But in the case of Symphogear, Gear, you are celebrating that they make no sense. Moving on to the story itself, and well... They try. The point of Sympho Gear is not the story, but there is a story every season, and that adds a layer of substance to the battles, which is good. And while the story is enjoyable for what it is, there are times where it feels like it's just trying to do too much, cram too much of a plot into a show that's really not about the plot. Every season starts off with an incredibly fun episode, but then after that, the like, plot kicks in, and that makes it less fun because you're trying to keep track of what's going on, does it make sense, is it supposed to make sense, and all that. And I also feel like the show gets in the, to the trap of trying to outdo itself every episode, and when you have a opening scene where the characters rearrange the order of the tallest mountains on the planet, it's hard to top that. And for me personally, I think something that let me enjoy the show more is taking a break between each season. That way, when I came back to the first episode of the season, it was a completely new experience, or at least one I had not had for a month or two. Moving on to the characters, and they are good for this type of show. There's enough of a backstory with all of them that they have a lot of room to grow throughout the series, and they have different challenges that they're trying to overcome, and they want to fight to overcome their mistakes. The characters also all have really strong personalities, which just works great for the fun parts of the show. 
Each season has its own story arc, which let them focus on different stories you want to tell with the characters on their own too. Though it did feel like some seasons they pushed some characters off to the side development-wise, so while they were there the whole time, they did not really do anything interesting. And this is compounded by the fact that they also have a new group of villains every season that they also want to flesh out and all that, so it just was a lot for the time period that they had. But still, these are pretty minor complaints as a whole. Overall, this is Symphogear, and that's the best way to put it. If you want a show that is pure fun, there is nothing I can recommend more. So give this a try. Go watch that clip if you haven't, or go watch the first episode or both, and I hope you'll see why I enjoy it so much.